Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. In this video, we are going to look into the difference between map and flat map, which is one of the very important questions in perspective of Java 8 interview questions. So let's get started. So please like, share and subscribe to our channel so that we can reach to maximum people. And we are also setting a like target of 500. So once we have the 500 target reached, we'll create more such Java 8 videos for you. In this video, we are going to take a real time example where we have list of all employees and we are going to get all the cities where they have worked in the past years. Nowadays, this is done by most of the Indian companies because they want to see in which all locations employees are comfortable to work after pandemic situations and then they are opening their small small offices in all those cities. So now we have an employee, we have the list of cities they have worked upon in the past and they are comfortable with and we are going to fetch all those cities with us. So let's, we are going to see how map works. We are going to see how flat map works. So let's get started with this. To create a Java project here. We are going to create an employee class because we need a list of employees. So our employee class is going to have like suppose few fields like private ID, his name and just a list of cities where they have worked upon. We're going to generate getters and setters and we're going to generate the two string method because we need if we need to print a list of employees we need to see what is the content of the list then we need the two string to be implemented here okay so as you can see our employee class is ready we have three things that is name id and the cities they have worked upon now with this in place we are going to create a main class in this main class we are going to have a main method where we are going to put all the logic and see how map and flight map is going to work for us we are going to create some employee objects and assign some values to these instances for the ease purpose i'm going to create a constructor also here so that we don't have to do dot set dot set every time here okay so our constructor is done in main class i'm going to create an employee object with id as one name as suppose code and cities worked upon so we need to create a list also here where we can have the cities they have worked upon so we can have like pune mumbai Gurgaon, Noida, something like these. And we're going to pass this here. Similarly, we're going to create multiple objects like these. So suppose currently I'm just going to have three of them. ID is going to be two. Name I can put as decode. And cities worked in two that I've already created above. Third name I can put as ID as three and code decode. Okay, so we have three employees ready. Let's print it. We'll create one more list of employees here now. Okay, so our data is ready. Our list is ready. All these things that we have done here is not going to be like this in the real time, real world example. All these list of employees and these cities are going to come from database. Currently, just for showcasing, I've done it hard coding here. But all these lines of code will not be there when it is a real time case. We have already seen how to get the data from a database in Hibernate or Spring. We have videos already covered with that. Just for the simplicity purpose, I'm not connecting to database and getting these values. I'm hard coding it here. Let's see our data is ready or not. Now, trying to print an employee list. Uh, you, if you haven't introduced the two string method in your code then you're going to see some hash code value of this employee list object but currently we have already implemented the two string method and hence we're going to see the list data in this format employee its id name and cities worked upon so we should have three data three types of data and three types of employees here so let's see if this works Yes, this works for us. Employee ID 1, name is code. They have cities worked upon. Employee ID 2, decode. And employee ID 3, code decode. So our data is ready. Our real-time example is ready. Let's see how map works now. Now, what does map do? Map actually performs map function operation. That is, it takes a stream, transform it to another stream. Now, we have an example of some employees here. Now, if I say that you have an employees, give me only the list of the IDs of all the employees you have in a company would have created a list of integers a for loop on our employee list and then get each employee's ID and set it to this array list and then print this IDs let's run it so this is how you would have done one two and three so if you have you would have hundred of uh, employees then your this for loop is going to iterate over hundred times and all these code you have to write just to add uh, just to get id so this like 36 line number to 42 line number all of this can be done in one single line using map operation on the list of employees 
so how would we do that so let's comment it right now and let's see how would we do in java 8 now we have an employee list we'll open a stream to this list and we are going to map each of the employee with their employee id this map is an intermediate operation so i'm going to put a terminal operation like collect here and since you're collecting it in a list you need a list to hold it so i will have the list of ids here let's print the list of ids okay so we have the same result as we used to have for these four five line of code so just one line of code is capable enough to do this for us so now many of the people would have asked me now if you had a list here you have opened a stream and you have mapped each employee object with its corresponding id will my existing list be modified to now have not just employee whole object but rather integers because you have mapped each and every object with their ids so let me tell you how internally map works first i had three employees in my list employee one two and three and they had whole employee object here even e2 and e3 now what i'm doing here is i'm going to map each employer we are going to open a stream so with this we are going to open this was an array and or list and i'm going to open a stream here and this stream is going to have its ids so each employee's id is going to be mapped with its corresponding id so one two and three and for the god's grace map is a function that maps each object given as an input to its corresponding functions output value into a new stream so this is a new stream for you this is not an existing stream so that is why now even if you try to print the existing list of employees you should be good enough to see that you have your intact employee list it not all objects of employee list of type of employee is not mapped to integers that is the type of their ids so if you see you have your list intact even now even after doing some function or operation of mapping on the existing employee list you have your employee list intact map creates a new stream when a map operation is done and hence existing list is not modified a new stream is created a function is applied to each of its object on the stream and is collected to the type you want so i have list so it is collected to a list and printing gives me the value so this is how map works that it, it takes a stream and transform it into another stream it applies a function on each element of stream so not just events id is coming all the 1 2 3 all the ids of all the elements are coming to a new stream so on each element the stream a function is applied and the return value is stored into a new stream that is why your original list is intact the map operation takes a function it calls a value in the, in the input stream and produces one result for each input and gives it to the output stream so for each value of employee one id is added to the new stream and is added to the list at the end with the terminal operation so this was all about map now you'll ask me how flat map actually works so flat map is a combination of map and the flattening operation this means that you first apply a map function and then you flatten the whole list now you'll ask me why do you really need it so i'll give you one example suppose i am asking you to get all the list of cities your employees have worked upon but do not give me a, in the terms of list of list so i'll tell you if i try to just put a map and get the cities they have worked upon how my output result will be okay so if i try to get the employee list put a stream and map each employee's list the employee list is of type list of string so if you can see this is a list of string so when you collect it to the list the type will become list of string and if you try to print it this is how your output will look like list of first pune mumbai noida bangalore again pune nagpur indore pune bangalore all these cities they have worked upon is to be shown but it's pune which is repeated so many times i don't want the repeated things i just want to know the place they have worked upon in a set format that means not the duplicate ones although if you try to use a set will will i get the unique result so let's try let's use two set and take a set here and let's run it 
सो अगेन यू हैव द सेम रिजल्ट पुणे नागपुर इंदौर पुणे बैंगलोर पुणे मुंबई नोएडा नागपुर सो बेसिकली दीज आर लिस्ट ऑफ सिटीज एंड हेन्स यू कैन नॉट पुट सेट ऑपरेशन टू गिव यू यूनिक ऑपरेशन विथ नेविगेटिंग इन टू ईच ऑफ दीज लिस्ट सो इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम योर मैप विल नॉट वर्क ऑन अ डेटा टाइप ऑफ टू डी दैट इज लिस्ट ऑफ लिस्ट सो वी हैड अ लिस्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉज एंड लिस्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉज हैड लिस्ट ऑफ सिटीज दे हैव वर्क अपॉन सो फॉर लिस्ट ऑफ लिस्ट टू ऑपरेट अपॉन द इनर पार्ट ऑफ द लिस्ट एंड गेट गेट सम ऑपरेशन डन ऑन द इनर पार्ट ऑफ लिस्ट यू नीड अ फ्लैट मैप सो हैव यू सीन वाई फ्लैट मैप इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट यू जस्ट डोंट नीड द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ मैप यू ऑल्सो नीड टू फ्लैट इट अप द लिस्ट ऑफ लिस्ट इज टू बी कन्वर्टेड टू लिस्ट सो आई शो यू डायग्रामेटिकली हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट ओके सो वी हैव थ्री एम्प्लॉज इन अ लिस्ट विथ सी वन सी टू सी वन सी टू सी थ्री सी फोर C1, C5, C6. So these are list of employees, and these are list of cities these employees have worked upon. So it's a list of list. You can see here. This is a list or of list. Now we need to have some operations done done on these inner objects. And how would we do that? We will first map it and then flat it. so let's see how we can do it so we have list of cities flattened and we will use flat map here and what changes you need to do to make it flat map so you need to give it a stream dot stream so once you give them as a part of stream and collect it as a set you will have the set of string that is what you require right so this is the beauty of flat map you give a flat map an input input will be in terms of its stream and output will be given in terms of stream again and that a stream is going to be a single stream and every operation done on each object is going to append its output in one that single stream only not as a different streams so let's print it and see if our task is done our task was that with this output of pune nagpur indor pune bangalore pune mumbai noida bangalore these lists are to be reduced to a single array like this and with a unique objects only so sat is going to get the unique op objects for us and flat map is going to flatten our 2d result of array of arrays into a single array let's see if this works great our task is done we have only unique objects in a 1d format and not in 2d format so this is the beauty of flat map it flattens the array of array to a single array so let's see the theory part now so flat map is a combination of map and flat operation <coughs> this means that you first apply the map function and then flatten a result so just for a very simple example if you have a structure like these 2d with the two levels of array of arrays that we have already seen in our example of array of arrays the it's basically a big list containing more than three lists the flattening converts it into one single level so with our flattening it's one single level so before flattening it was list of list of string and after flattening it is just a list of string so what is the difference between map and flat map map you pass an uh, you pass the function to the map and it returns you single value while in terms of flat map you pass a function to the flat map and it returns you the stream of values so here if you can see there is a stream of values this is a stream of values and here it's just a simple function so basically this function is called a mapper function okay now map is for transformation while flat map is transformation and flattening so we have done flattening here so in a very short way how flat map works internally so basically this is a mapper function this is basically a mapper function that we are passing to flat map it produces multiple values for a single input so for one single input given an employee a multiple list of cities are given as an output so input was single input output was multiple cities they have worked upon like this 
an area of area now flat map flatten those multiple values into single stream and remove duplicates by using set set so we have already used set here and this whole flattening is done by flat map for us so the best explanation is the value from the stream written by mapper so what is the mapper this is the mapper function and what is the value returned from mapper that is the stream of values so these are stream of values these are drained from stream and passed to the output stream so there is one single output stream which is created by flat map and all of these outputs are added to that same output stream without any distinguishing so all the values that are returned from the mapper function are not distinguished at all in the output stream and hence the output stream is called to be flattened so we had multiple values so every time when you use map these are actually distinguished so we used to have these distinguishing even after 1 2 so here if you can see you had distinguished 1 uh, 2 and 3 when it comes to flat map there is no distinguishing between them everything is added to one single stream so c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 comes as a single stream as an output so uh, with flat map it's not only just mapped with cities but also flattened into a single output stream and no bifurcation is there so that's the main difference between flat map and map